Good morning to you on this Thursday. We continue with um, Mark chapter 1, today from verse 35. In the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went away to a secluded place, and was praying there. Simon and his companions searched for him. They found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you. He said to them, Let us go somewhere else to the towns nearby, so that I may preach there also, for that is what I came for. And he went into their synagogues throughout all Galilee, preaching and casting out the demons. Jesus had spent the previous day, first of all, teaching in the synagogue, and then casting a demon from a man who was demon-possessed. Then he went on to Simon's house, and there he healed his mother-in-law. And then many of the village of the city came along and who were demon-possessed and ill, and Jesus cast out demons and healed the sick. He was exhausted. But yet early next morning he got up. He needed some time with the Father, and he went to a secluded place to pray. If Jesus needed to do that, how much more do we? Jesus often spent time getting up early, sometimes walking in front of his disciples away from the pack, just in order to communicate with the Father. Every relationship requires communication. If Jesus needed to take time to pray, so do we. And he experienced exactly the same thing that happens to us when we do decide to have some quiet time, to spend some time in prayer. Isn't it inevitable the phone rings or someone looks for you, someone needs something? Jesus went away to pray and the disciples woke up, saw he wasn't there and they started looking for him. They disturbed his prayer time. It happens. But we need to force ourselves to have this time alone with God. And the more time we spend alone with him, the stronger our faith will be and the more powerful our witness will be. Jesus was only just starting out in his ministry. But all throughout his ministry, he spent time talking to the Father, discussing things with him, asking the Father Jesus said, I can do nothing except the Father tells me. He followed the Father's will perfectly. We will not be perfect in following God, but the more time we spend in prayer, the more time we spend just alone with God, the more successful we will be in following him and fulfilling the purpose that he has designed for our lives. Jesus knew that he was not only... Uh, confined to one place he wanted to go as wide as possible and preach the message and heal the sick and cast out demons uh, so he went throughout all the region of Galilee preaching and teaching and it wasn't that easy in those days he had to go on foot and they went from town to town and brought the good news of God's love for all people Lord God Heavenly Father we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus your Son and our Lord we thank you for this new day we thank you for your mercies that in you every morning Great is your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you give us the example that we need to take time out, time alone with the Father to pray, time to recharge our batteries for the work that lies ahead. As we do today, begin this day, Lord, we ask that you would just empower us again today to walk in the steps of Jesus, to love as Jesus loved, to have compassion, to be instruments of your peace your love and joy heavenly father we surrender all to you knowing that your will is always the best we ask heavenly father for your blessing over our country we pray lord for this great nation we pray for those in leadership positions that you would give them wisdom and understanding we pray for those who live under tyranny we pray lord have mercy we pray for those who are persecuted for their faith. We pray, Lord, have mercy and forgive those who persecute them, for they don't know what they're doing. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we look around at a world that is broken. Again, there's been so much loss of life in the Ukraine and Pakistan and other countries. So many horrible things are happening. We pray for an end to the war. We pray, Lord, for peace. We pray, Lord, for those who have suffered so much loss. Lord, have mercy. We pray for that soul that doesn't know you and ask that today would be the day they turn to you. We lift up before you the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We lift up before you, Lord, ourselves, our loved ones, our families, and we pray that your love would flow in and through us. And now we pray that you would hear us as we combine all of our prayers on this day by praying, Our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.